Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Imperial Galactic Survival, brought to you by Geek Tech Industries. Uh, we are currently running a server, and it's called, surprisingly enough, Geek Tech Industries. Uh, we've got it marked as open beta right now, so uh, actually anyone can join in at any time, but uh, on a moment's notice we might be like, sh we might shut the server off uh, as we find things that are um, completely screwed in the game, we'll wipe them. We're not going to wipe play fields that people are in or built stuff in. We'll make sure we deal with that first. But uh, <clears throat> other than that, it is functional. Um, it's fairly buggy free, uh, other than the regular, you know, bugs that are in the game itself. So server side, it's it seems pretty solid. Um, We've got our custom content up and running, and I'm actually on one of the worlds right now called Dirt. And last episode we went around and, and did a bunch of mining on Dirt using the HV here. Um, today, what I did is, I'll show you, I, I built a bunch of base parts. And so what I plan on doing is actually making a uh, an ore bunker uh, to process all the ore from these planets, these four planets in the in the sanctuary system. <clears throat> Excuse me. So uh, I hit level 21 and I was able to spec into the uh, furnace because I didn't have enough points when I had hit 20 because I took a bunch of other stuff. But anyway, uh, now I've actually specced into the furnace. I still have a bunch of promethium, or sorry, a bunch of Zascosium and uh, and Restrium. Uh, I also have a whole bunch of power coils, so I'm able. I'll, I'll be able to make a whole bunch of these furnaces if I need to. I think only one per bunker per planet is going to be fine, though. Um, so, and I also made an advanced constructor, so to to be able to make what if you need something, right? You know, advanced constructor. <clears throat> um, I'm putting a T1 generator in and a T3 tank um, and a large O2 tank with a med station. Uh, we'll be putting a ventilator in, we'll, we'll oxygenate it. Uh, the hangar doors I plan on doing, uh, I'm thinking like the 6x8, I think there's a 6x8. So I've got the base starter ready to go here. Let's go over and place this somewhere um, you can also see I actually that's I still have that as a tutorial place base starter so that's kind of funny um, I it looks like it's all sloping down to the water right right so I think I want to be up a little bit higher I don't really want to dig much because you know I'm I'm totally lazy so uh, let's put my there. It was fairly bright out, though. I mean, not bad for at night. So this is good visibility in this planet. I, I'm I'm really liking this planet, Dirt. Um, yeah, I might have to make something more substantial, maybe up in the mountains, uh, with a view. But we're gonna put a mining base out here right now near this water. Uh, so we want this to be fairly large, so I really need to get out here. Uh, should I be removing these? Are these removable? How do I do that? I think it's do the drill, and is it stone removal, terrain removal, filler, flattening, stone removal? There we go. That worked. Oh, this. Okay, yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't think the grass matters, though. I think it'll just disappear once we start screwing with stuff. Okay. Well, this is looking pretty good right now. Um, I think I want to face the water. I don't know why. Just because that way the tiles will go in that direction, I guess. Okay. Let's place this down. Uh, woo, let's sink this right down really low. 
I mean, if I have to, I can build up on top of it, I guess. But let's, because it's it's gonna taper down, right? So if I need to, I can build up. Here we go. Uh, what does it say now? Place a generator, place a fuel tank, place a large constructor. A large constructor? Very specifically large constructor. But I made a... Well, I guess I can... I can deconstruct it, build a large constructor, place a large constructor, and then put it up to a advance. Okay, kind of a pain in the ass. I guess I should be paying attention to these quests. If, I, if I'm doing them, I might as well do them properly, but... Uh, I have yet to actually follow them, so I've just been kind of <laughs> succeeding at them blindly and dumbly. Okay, uh, let's actually start just placing some some stuff. Uh, look, doesn't look like critters. Are, I killed a bunch that were around here. Now spiders do come around here. Um, that could be a bit of a downfall. But, let's just get some blocks on here. So, um, no, I don't want a wall. Yeah, there. That's what we want. We want, come on. We want, oh, come on, come on. Give me more tiles. Tiles, there we go. Thank you. So actually what I should be doing is I should be using my drone. So I'm going to drone it up and I don't really have to worry about tabbing in and tabbing out even though it's a good idea. It gives you your radar back. Um, <clears throat> let's just continue this, shall we? So come on, give, give, there we go. Come on. Let's bring it out as far as we can. So what I'm doing is I'm holding control uh, before I hit the button to to actually get the um, um, multi-tile both direction to fill in at the same time. I forget what the maximum amount is, but you can see that there is a very specific maximum amount. Okay, let's keep uh, laying some blocks down. Now, let's, will it let me, come on. Oh, I got a little too far away. Come on. Hold down control and then oh, got to click on the mouse. Now click on the mouse. Now drag it. There we go. And that's the maximum amount it'll do. Oh, that was one more than. Uh, it's okay. I'll just. I like how flat this area is. It's hardly. It's hardly changing in elevation at all. Um, I really like it. That's cool. Okay. Let's keep filling this in. Now, I'm not sure if I want to continue past that. I do want to fill that in. And then if you're just going to do a line, you don't have to hold down any button. You can just click and drag and then release. Okay. So we've got a flat surface here to work with. Um, now I want it to be fairly large. Let's 
put the hangar bay door facing the water. So let's throw the hangar bay door up right now. Uh, we'll grab that. Put that here. So the default is what a five by three. Okay, definitely not big enough. So what I'm thinking is six by three, eh, seven by five, nine by five. Wow. Uh, ten by five, ten by nine. 13, 10 by 9. 10 by 9. That's freaking massive. <laughs> I I'm not really sure. <laughs> oh, that looks silly. Uh, it's, uh, oh my god. Should I do it for the lols? Uh, just a massive hanger. No, that's ridiculous. Ten by five, nine. I think the seven by five is gonna win out here. Yeah, seven by five. We'll just plunk that down there for now. So. The bottom part of the base will be the hangar receptacle. Um, so that means, do I just put regular blocks for now and seal this up into like a big block? And then maybe, maybe glass on top of it glass and concrete and have some grow plots or something that's not a bad idea huh that's not a bad idea and it doesn't have to be too huge and I don't have to yeah although I'm gonna have to put like a a pillar in somewhere. Hmm. Kind of wanted to get away from doing that. Uh, what about if I do side pillars? So if I... Yeah. Okay. So I think I, I have a good understanding of what I want to accomplish here. Um, Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make like a large hanger with a with a grow op on the top, and um, so yeah, you know, it'll just it'll service or uh, or collection down in the bottom, and we'll have some food on the top. We'll have all the basic of amenities of a regular base, um, and but its main focus will be or so it's just going to be kind of a a small, a small base to just process ore. It's not going to be a, a main residence, but uh, I'll get to building that. And next time I'll fire it up. We should have a basic structure going, sealed in with um, all the stuff in it. Um, it might not look pretty, but it'll be functional. And um, that's probably a good place to leave off. I've got a start to the base. <laughs> um, so yeah, we'll continue this off camera. We'll build this up. It's, it's not going to look that pretty. I, I might make it look like something else besides that. But, but really what I want to do is I don't want to make it too nasty huge because I want to do this as a... Um, I want to make it a plan also to, so that I can just go, go spawn it on the other planets, right? Um, so I don't want to get too crazy with it. I want to make it 
realistic to, to spawn in a in a nice flat spot and if it's too big then it it gets all screwed up um, yeah okay so good I got the foundation down uh, I got the door up what I'll do is I'll even this out I'll I'll uh, well it looks like it might be even already okay so it looks like it's in the middle I'll um oh no it's not anyway I'll, I'll add another line there and we'll fill this in and get it functioning okay guys um, if you like this video like and subscribe uh, and I will see you on the next episode until then take her easy